Okay, so we're going, we started, we ended up with going into uh, Genesis 30, 33, and now we're starting the B section about the thief in the garden. And I knew we wouldn't get very far, and so fast this thing starts to morph out. So we know that there's, from Gan, there's, then there goes three occurrences of, of theft, and it's given a name, So we, and we know that theft, it can be simply called uh, something removed, right? Because that's what a thief would have removed something. So then we're going to 1590, now we see that the Gan has got an added bet to it. Up. Yeah, we were already we already were looking at that though. Okay. But it's interesting though that this version that you're talking about though, Gan Nab, right? It has the the two noons that have become one. Right. And I can see where you're going because there's Exodus twenty two two. Right. The first occurrence is Exodus twenty two two. Yeah. So now we have, and we've already established, like this is now the bet, and so it directly connects to the experience of the bet tab, which is 22-2, right? Or 2-22. Right. And so that now, now it's showing you this is the process and how to build this, and so you can remember that what is removed. So the thief can now be rendered down to as gently as something was removed from you on purpose. The right. bet tab, the building pattern of love is removed. Find this because there's a treasure for those so, that find it. So for those that want to say that our DNA was mucked with, right? Because there's people who are saying that our DNA was mucked with. Our DNA really wasn't mucked with. We were mucked with in our head and deceived to believe it was. Because the blueprint pattern has always been there. We're just discovering what we need to unlock it. Yeah. To get the shackles off of our forgetting. Yeah. Again, this is... Through the spiritual path, the two that come to one. Is my remembering, does it allow me to tether to a perspective of greater, or does another man's or individual's or alien's perspective dictate to me what the narrative is? If I can create a reality that tethers me right to Father's source and to say, I'm here for the experience of being brought in and I'm seeing this, does that allow me to bypass... A potential narrative that can, keeps me captive. It's rhetorical because the answer would be yes. Absolutely. So, so then my narrative it tells me that I came in and I partnered for experience. With, for experience. So everything that was done to us was for the sake of experience. So basically, what we're doing is cutting all the clutter away. We're cutting. You know all. what I'm saying? It's like you don't need to worry about that. You you go down a rabbit trail. It is going to take you away from the primary focus, which is to find the pieces of love to put it back together, so you can be healed and whole and remember who you yeah. are. I'm trying to keep it as right? clean as clean. Yes, as clean as possible. That what the spirit showing me is like I can bypass a lot of stuff that I don't know because this is what the spirit showing me going like. If I can create the narrative as a co-creator, I can leapfrog a lot of narrative. Absolutely. It's keeping the main thing the main, main thing. Main thing the main and that's what we've always been about. Yep. So now we have this thief or removal of the bet was taken out of you, the bet tab in the form of because the bet tab is a pattern, but it came in the essence of the hay, the revelation. Exactly. So the pattern is the hay as well. It simply is morphing, is saying, there it is as pattern, but but it's spoken in revelation or beholding. Yeah, you have to see it in right. order to build it. And that's what the revelation is about. Yep. So we see that occurrence. We don't need to go into that. But it's interesting, right? In the thief is caught while breaking. And now we're going to go into this first in another couple of sessions because this <clears> is <throat> really, really powerful because this is a reward here in case just for future, just to get you interested. This is really big. It well, was, and I just, I'm highlighting this. I know we're going to go into it later, but matzah means to find. Yeah. And so big. There's a double measure in here. So just yep. go down on this right here and see 227, 228. Okay, so the th first three occurrences are all based on the two twos. Yep. Okay, so let's go into the next one, uh, 1591. So we were just at the 1590, right. a thief. Now let's go to 1591, and this is what the Spirit told me to do. So something that was stolen was the hay. But look at even the spelling of that word, Jean Ba. Right. So, I mean, I know... Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. So now a code was taken because the bet tov is a code. The revelation is the revealing of the code because the bet tov is code. Right. So in, in just to let you know, so in, in one of my inspirations that I got months and months and months ago, it said that the frequencies of the genetic things that were for us were held on higher frequencies. Yeah. They were held up at a higher measure that once we master the frequency, then the genetic coding would be unveiled. Right. So they're trying to take certain parts. Well, 
it, they can't take it from us because it's completely different frequencies in a higher dimension. Yeah. We have to match the frequency for it to be revealed. They can't take it from us. That's why we're in right now into the place of vaccinations because they know what's coming. Father's coming. Something's coming in to reveal itself to those that have done the necessary work. And so this is why everyone's saying, love, love well. Keep this frequency lifted up. Do what you right. need to do. Because it's connected to light. Light right. and love, those that will be revealed right. as light in love. So this is the blueprinted template for innocence. This is the covenant of family. This is the garden temple code. We are the Gan. We are the Gana. We already were the Ayin, but the Ayin was removed in the code essence, and it's in the form of a Bet Tov format, and it's hidden in the earth through the Spirit re revealing to us the He, the revelation. If we see revelation in, and we partner with the Spirit correctly, she is administering and doling out the revelation, and she's, she's generously giving. Well, technically, they both are because it's the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of Truth. Right, and, and we're going to get to this. What's, yeah, it's, so, the two it's the two that are working together to assist us. So it's generously giving. Sophia and, and Yeshua. Right, so we are receiving generously as it's being gently received and vice versa. So, right. So this is the code that's being that's that's really... <clears throat> um, the gene actually I can say this is the gene key the gone is the gene key this is a gene key it's coded right in here we forgot through the amnesic virus of the head wound so now right. we're healing ourselves as we've already said through the journey right so the building codes of the spirit's breath that reveals the full measure of love um, is what was removed and we're gathering the pieces two occurrences of this and look what the two occurrences are 22.3 and 22.4 Yep. Okay, and the, we're going to go through these later on. Well, and it's interesting because the four, again, the four is a code for quadration. Right. It's huge. Yep. Because so, that's connected directly to the 144. And it's talking about who shall be sold sold for his theft in 23, and what he stole is actually found in 20, in 44. And this is the place of quadration that we're going to establish, and all these are tethered together, and yep. they all go in order, and we're yep. going to break that down. So go to the next one so we can move through this. So it's just uh, 1592. This was the theft. But. Now we have the Gan. Now we have the Bet Tov. So now, the, now they're naming the theft. So this is what's going on. Two occurrences of this. Now we, it's in Kings 11... 20 and we should probably go into this i don't know if we want to go into it we we can it's actually an amazing verse of what was stolen because it actually tells you how let's go through it real quick let's go through this first real quick because the next verse because what's going on so just go before you go here i want to say that the next word is the new man it's the risen man Oh, so the next word above, so 1593. So the next word that we're going to follow is 1593. So we can say, well, why, right? Because now we know the theft. Do you want me to pull up 1593? You can go into 1593. Ah, the garden. So now the garden is given again. With the risen flesh. Right. The and, new flesh. And the hay. The flesh that is no longer corruptible. Right. Through the hay of the Father. And 12 occurrences. And look at all the occurrences. Like What's gardens, added on them? Gardens. Tavav. Tavav. Or Tav. I mean, every single one of them. Well, there's only one that, there's a couple that don't. But but that is showing that the hay is there. So in other words, the hay has to come first. Because if you don't have the revelation, you can't build it. Right. It has to be built through the revelation, the blueprints. Has to be built through the revelation, the blueprints. So in looking at it, oh, that's interesting. There's two. There's only two that have the hay. The right. two Hays. Right. The twin revelations. Yeah, I thought I put it in there, but two. Oh, yeah, there's two. Yeah, two right? occurrences. So have two. Hay. Yep. That's, yep. So ten of them have the Tav, and two of them have the revelation. And ten is the same number for the Yod. And ten is also the number for the tribes, and two, Benjamin and Judah, are, right. have ten the revelation. Right, ten and two. Right. So the ten northern tribes that were Israel, that had the name Israel, that were scattered, mm -hmm. are coming, and that's where Ephraim was from. Right. Ephraim, the reason why, just for people, if they don't understand this, whenever they would talk about the 10 northern tribes, they would always lump it under Ephraim because Ephraim was the largest tribe. Right. So when they referred to it, it was the all of Israel, the northern, the northern kingdom that is going to come back with the double fruitfulness. Right. That's huge. That's huge. 
So we're on page. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So the 10 are coming back that have the Tav. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So let's go down to this really quick. Uh, so both occurrences of this building platform are in 1 Kings 11.20. And then we're going to go into the new man, this, okay. this new garden. So let's run through this. See if we can do it timely because this is gonna, um, this is gonna eat up some time. But this could be a whole teaching right here because this is really big. So First Kings eleven twenty. Yep. And we got the first word bore, which is from the word yalad, which means to bring forth and beget. Yep. And but, so it, it already has mother's connection in her covenant of the golden rule. So these ones are connected in mother's love, right? Yep. And so birth mother's love him. A teacher of light that would be filled up. Teacher of light that would be filled up. And then the next word is a sister. A brother who is a sister who is filled up in the measure now, of love. Now, let's just linger on sister for a minute because sister is a very coded word. And so we need to know because all of it Vav taught. But go into sister and then take it to 250. So 269. But it's actually Ezra Ki. And see if we can follow this through. Likened to Ezra Ki. Right, but let's go into it. And Ak means brother. We right. know that. And the that's least. why I've I've shared in the in the ancient Hebrew wedding. I've talked about the brother and the sister and the mother and the father. Right. So, so I can connect that. They can go listen to that teaching. So Ezra series. Ki, Olive, Zadi, Resh, Het Yo, right? Yeah. And then from. Yeah. Two 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 four. Yep. To rise and shine and to come forth. To rise and shine and come forth. Now, this is really interesting. So that's the 222, two, two, and there's quadration there's, again. Right, and so it's hidden in this, even, because again, it's like, mm, I'm, I'm pulling the string through, I'm going like, wow. But everything is intentional. Everything's the, intentional. Nothing is an accident. And I've had them tell me things in this to say, no, this is a mistake, and I go and do the, the and it's like, no, and like, no, there's no mistakes. Nope, there's no mistakes. I'm sorry, it's all, it's all been... And the sun rose. Zerak yep. lo hashemesh. Now, interesting The on, servants of the sun. Yeah, and so now these are the servants of the sun, and it means right. to shoot forth beams and to rise as the sun. That's in you're in what two two four? To radiate, shoot forth beams, to rise as sun, to appear. Right. Yep. yep. Now interesting, another name for Jacob in Genesis thirty eight thirty, they called him two two six. Two 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 six. Two 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 six, and you can go to it. You just go two more over. It's faster if I do it that way. All right. And so this is another name for Jacob. Wow. And you can see it in Genesis 38, 30. So you can see, because when he was born, he came forth and they called him this. Well, wasn't there something in one of the writings that said that he was shining when he came out of the womb? I don't, I've never seen that, but this, this. Yeah, was, it's like in the book of Jasher or some other writing that talked about when he was born, he, his, his face was, he was shining and they were a little freaked out about it. Right. <laughs> so this comes from which the, would make sense. They wouldn't. They wouldn't want you to find it in the scripture. No. They would have no idea. So his name was called Zerak. His name was called because he was a shining he one a when shining he came one. out. But he. But again, so he, his his name could have been Zarakel. I don't know. But right. he, but he said, but you're going to be Jacob because why? Because everyone that comes into this construct of the matrix has to wrestle. That's why it's called Jacob's wrestle. And he's showing you're going to come in as a shiny one, and you will be a template and a foreshadowing, and you're going to show how to become Israel to prevail as El. <clears throat> so he came in as there's the name. It's documented in 3830. Well, just probably just pull it up, up, and you can see that they called him. Okay, so just so people know that we are talking about um, Jacob and Esau. Yes. So they can see that. And afterward came out his brother who had... The scarlet thread in his name was Zerach, a shining one. Yep. So they didn't want you to see this, so you'd have to go to another book to see that he literally was shining. It wasn't like they just called him, oh, his name is a shining one for no reason. Yeah. So he he and this he would have been a first fruit because it ties right to Parah because he bust forth first, stuck out his hand. This is where we get the the the, the red cord on the wrist. Right, so they, he but they marked it. The handmaiden marked him, and this is a whole story. I've already broken this down. It's an amazing little story here. But this would be from Shana. Yeah. To do it again. To transmute. That root word is to transmute. This is spiritual alchemy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So the scarlet thread has to do everything with spiritual alchemy, the revelation of the mother and the power from the father, the twin, the sheen. 
Now this is really personal. Whoa, I know, I know. No, I'm I'm connecting dots big time here. Nope, I get it. This is all about spiritual alchemy into gold. Yeah. Okay. Woo. All right. So now we're gonna move. And to rise and shine and come forth. Right. Isaiah sixty. Right. This is Got Isaiah it. sixty-three. So this is the first occurrence of this. Right. To rise and shine, my light. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now. What is rising and shining? And, and this actually roots down, you can go a little further with this, because this actually goes into the name of the father-in-law of Moshe, and which means, and his root. So you were looking at, just so I know, because I, I kind of got lost, so we were talking, we were actually at 269, Akot. And we went to Zirak and the shining. Okay, well, we can back out of here now. We can, but, um, um, we can, but I can tell you that this is all about being hidden in love. I can tell you it goes to two two four six and two two four five, but we don't need to go that far. But okay. that, but this is the father-in-law of Moshe, which means really father-in-law of Moshe, and it's het bet bet. So it would have been the separation of the two. But anyways, and it roots out at two two four five. I'm going to pull that up since we're talking about it, because if you don't see it, then they will have no idea what we're talking about. So you can go to two two four six first. Yep, the father-in-law, het, bet, bet. So setting apart the ones that are from the inside versus those that are outside that have the covenant, the mm -hmm. twin building processes. So that's the pattern of the, of the cherubim on the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the Becoming. And go to 2225, what it roots out at. Same so then the root. Same spell. Look at that. To love. To love. One occurrence. Yep. <laughs> 333. Right, 333. Yep, this is all heavily coded. Wow. All heavily coded. Wow. It's just what we've been shown, and I can only do it incrementally. <clears throat> and I've gone into all these verses, but I can't do it right now. Right. But you know. We're oh, skipping stones. So let's go back. Let's go back. So that's sister. Right, 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 so right. So now it's that sister, and she is like a brother, but she is now Vav Tob on her name. Right. Right? We right. know that. Filled up with the covenant of love. That's what a sister is. And a sister is a brother, but they're both on the process and experience of life as a mother, as a father, as a woman, as man. As king, as queen. As king, as queen. It's yep. all vibrational frequencies. Frequencies of becoming. So now who is this one? So this sister and bore him. Right. So bring forth the brotherhood of light. Bring her in the teachers of the sisters of light. Yep. They are the queens, the Egyptian queens. It's, it's a queen. Is it, that what the next word is? Yes, it's an Egyptian. It's a word for an Egyptian queen. An Egyptian queen in the time of David and Saul, the wife of the queen. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's only three occurrences of this, and it's all to do with sisters. Yep, the sister of the queen, the sister, the sister. So again, right? And this one has a jam or quadration over the noon in this verse. So this one is completely quadrated, a risen one. Yep, I see that. Okay. Gift from God. She's a gift from God. Or this this is a gift from God. And then the next word is all of Tav. Yep. The gift of God is strong love. The family mm -hmm. is strong love. Through the language. Through of the language. All of through the Tav. Right. And then we have theft. Which is, I'm just throwing this out here again, Alpha and Omega... Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, just so right. people can connect that. So I would say that on this, this individual, this person caught the thief. This one is saying that there's been a removal, and I've caught the removal. I am now the Jean Bot. I am now the Gimel Nun Bet Tav. Right. Regardless of what I've, I've now, I'm the garden measure. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. So garden measure. So Gan, garden, and then Bet Tav, Bath, measure. Yes. A liquid measurement of building strong love. This is the garden measure. Wow. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And then... And the, then a son, one who one who built himself on the spiritual path and is completely filled up and connected to Spiritually risen. This, spiritually risen. Yeah, this one is now... Risen flesh. Yeah, risen flesh. So now son, daughter. Incorruptible flesh. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, and there's that weaned gamel. Fully developed. Fully, yeah. You know, yep. Right? No. They're off the milk. And so to wean oneself means you are off the milk. Yeah. You are now on the meat. And look at, look, look, look. Tav on front. You're yeah. weaned off of mother because now you have her mark of of uh, the love with condition, condition loved, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the golden rule, Ten Commandments kind of thing. And you are weaned off. And because you're weaned off, now you're given the hay, the Father's teaching. Yeah. This is the meat of the word. Yeah.
so that you can connect so, to him. So this one's fully ripened. This one's fully ripened in humility is resolved, becoming a sovereign meek one as the first fruit, spiritually mature. The matured in love. Right. This is fully mature. This is mature love now. You yes. have the garden standard. Yep. Off the milk and onto the meat. And then you're back to the queen again. Yep. Now where's the queen? Well, and how interesting is this? In. Pen, but look, pen, pana, to face and appear as one who is married. Yes. Right? So having the covenant that has been set apart, that speaks revelation, that has risen flesh as a married one. <laughs> right. And again, everything in Egypt is connected. All those Egyptian words, they're Hebrew words. Yes. Yeah, they, yeah, absolutely. And again, we're breaking flow. They right? don't want people to know that. When we do this, like we could go out and to do it really justice, I should extract out and put it, in, but it's so much work to put it in paragraph form. I know. To take all of this and then rewrite it in a condensed version. Right as, and well, guess what? That's what people get to do when they start excavating it for we, themselves. Right. We are skipping stones. We're showing you what's going on. We're just on. giving you excitement right. to try to draw you in so you can... So you can do your own work. So this this wean one now, this this gamma completely, this would be actually Gamaliel, right? It's qualified as now a teacher of light because you are. So it's an L. This is an L. Yeah. So they've gathered the they've gathered all the pieces through the living water teachings, and now are teaching shepherds of light. And, and so now staff of authority. Right. So now they're the queen. Yep. Right. Yep. And but and now they're Tevek. Now they're in the midst. Now they're in the midst of the garden. They're back in the midst. Right. So they have the toff. Yep. They've been marked. Yep. And how did they get marked they're, with that? Is because they grasped a hold of the language. They emptied out their cup in order to grasp a hold of the revelation so that they could build themselves in and through love. And we're going to get into the cup because this is That's directly big. connected into Joseph again because Joseph put the silver cup in the mouth of his brother's sack. Yep. And so we're going to talk about what this cup is, that the drips and drops of the silver cup. Because that's what this is now a silver tongued one. This is where we get that from. He's very. This is silver tongued. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now in the midst, and it really means between half. So one who has built center from between the pieces is Tevek. They built mother and father, and it's between. Just the, so they can see. To sever a bisection, the center. Mm-hmm. And then going back up. Mm-hmm. So in the root, it's Tav Kaf. Tav Kaf. Tav Vav. Tov, but it's tov. Mm -hmm. that's how you spell the symbol tov is tov off. So this one has a bet added. So this is built one. This is built between the pieces is what it's saying. This is built exactly. Love. All right now a house. So by eat. So now you're by eat. So now you're a built house and that's where you've spiritually built your house because that that root word is bana. Then there's no no noon. So this is a completely has nothing to do with the physical flesh at all. Right. This is a spiritual concept of building your house. So what you've built is your birthright. You're building the birthright through the Bet Tov of the template. We've already established that this is a, a blueprint that, that's been pulled out, but yet now you've matched the measure of frequency. So now you've built this um, completed light vessel. So, in other words, experience. you've built your head. You've built the Rosh. And again, Bayit, head. again, and that goes right to better sheet, right? Yep. Rashid. Yep. So now you've built the head again. Right. And this is healing the head. <clears throat> And so now what, the house of what? It's not, of, now you're the house of? Pharaoh. Pharaoh. And we already did talk about this in a previous teaching because it's the Peresh He that now has the eye in the middle, the all-seeing eye. So this is the eye now. A fruitful one. This is now the eye that's given because this is, the Peresh is right. really, the, right? right? We, this is, we've already brought this We already forward. talked about this because this had to do with Ephraim. Ephraim. Had to do the ashes. We've already covered that. I can link that okay. in the description. But this is the Peresh He. So they have the revelation of the Father's teaching as well, and, and they are going to reveal it, and they have the all-seeing eye. And this eye. would have been Joseph. Inward knowing. Joseph would have had this measure. Yes. He would have had the ayin and the hay back. And this is why the priests or the, the pharaohs were instructed in this, in this initiation process, so that they would see and know and have the all-seeing eye. And I would the be, top of the pyramid. Yes, absolutely. Which is illuminated with light. Yes, so I would be bold enough to say this, that this is exactly what Moshe wears when he came down from the top of the mountain. Absolutely. The sheen is in on this, but this is a pay a mouth, a resh a head, and the ayin is the fountain that's gushing out of your head because now you're knowing in the intimate knowing of what was in the garden. Right. And, then, and that's the full revelation of the breath. So this is one that would be radiating as all knowing as the living breath of revelation. And look at this, Ra, shepherd friend, companion. Yep. So 
I know that there was probably in history good pharaohs and bad pharaohs, but the, the fact remains, right, in the system of duality you would have had both, but the intention based on the word in its frequency is everything that we just shared. So you can even look at the next word, 1961, where are you? Yeah. Okay, now this word here is Haya. This is the same as a tetragrammaton. It is. Yod, hey, vav, hey, different order. But as we fell into love, going yeah. to the first description of it, as we fell into the experience of love, because you've come the measure of, of royalty now, you now fall out. Right. Because you become the intended version. So now you fall out of the matrix, or at least you're working out in behind the scenes of the matrix because you've come the measure. So to be, to come to pass, because this is also the root of uh, I am that I am, Ahaye mm -hmm. has an olive in front of it. Very first occurrence has the tov in the middle. And it's back in Genesis 1 too. Exactly. And this in is, the tohu bohu. And this is where the, the breath hovered over the waters. Right. 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 So this is again black, exactly. black am I. This one would be in sackcloth. This is one in sackcloth because he's compressed everything in light, consumed every nature. This would be a judge in the earth. This Pharaoh is a judge in the earth. Totally understand that. Right? So so they have the fullness of the tetragrammaton, the yeah. number 26, because it's the same gematria. Yeah. So they have connected themselves to the twin visions wonder, right, of mother and father yeah. that brought forth inward revelation. Yeah. That's w huge. When these ones show up, like I want to make this clear, <clears throat> when this shows up, this is the great and terrible day. This is awesome and frightening because they are the full representation of mother and father doing the work as judges in the earth again in the closing years. So and you, so they're going to be walking in that standard because they became so we, Yeah, and we're going, to, we're going to look at that a little further to see what the awesome day is. But So anyway, so this is a real thing that's happening here. So they are now the garden measure. They've, they've, they've fallen out of the garden now and they become the garden measure. And then it's back to, again, duplistic is telling you over again, you now have become, right, the bet tov, the garden measure, the, the, the completed instructions built in love as the mouth, the head, and the fountain of revelation. So so this is, <clears throat> this is showing that they are the garden that are of the bot, of the measurement. Mm -hmm. So they, they found what was stolen. They found what was stolen. Because... The hey, the revelation, they had to have it first, and then they were built built in that measure standardment of building the strong love. Again, it's going back to Tibet. The garden of strong love. That's really what we're saying. The garden of built love. The garden of built love. And then it goes back to Tevek. Again. Down here. Bet Tevek. So it's the Bayit. So we're talking about the household of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Same thing that we just shared. In the midst. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They built themselves. Mm-hmm. The Benai of Pharaoh, right. the sons or those who have built that have been given incorruptible flesh and now have been given power. And the you, power of love that they give and I, you as could, Pharaoh. And you you can actually say it. these are Benai Elohim. Well, exactly. The, that's just coded. That Pharaoh, right. that they are actually, if it's the if it's full frequency of Pei Resh, Ayin He, then that is, because <clears throat> we've already established it. Well, and that's why they would call the Pharaoh God. Right. Because they are the Benai Elohim. The Benai Elohim. Because if they see, then they remember and they know. And they know. And that's Da'at. And they're the house of Anshu. Ein Tov. They know in time. Ein Tov. Yes. Because they went through the door of the inward man during time to find the hidden that is now revealed to them. The Sephiroth that is of uh, the knowing. Yes. The Gnosis. Yes. Wow. So that's a pretty that's good That's why they would call him God. Yes. Oh, that's huge. That's pretty big. And so again, in we the beginning, created... Yeah. Elohim, right here. Yep. Better sheet, better Elohim at. Yep. <laughs> yep. So wow. this this connects that. So this wow. is who they are because Hayah is already in there, and that's yep. that's the root of it. So yep. absolutely.